Continuing along in this file, last tutorial, we did like a zoom in. So we animated a video so that it, we added these keyframes so that it, I'm setting it to start zooming in and then I can set it to start zooming out. So I'm pretty much gonna review that. So I am gonna go ahead and add a new item. I'm gonna go ahead and add a sequence and I'm gonna call this new sequence um, flyby. And in this sequence, just to get it started, I want that same video. So I'm gonna flip to my icons to maybe look for this a little bit easier and I want my basketball video that I've been using and so I have this video so I am going to go to effects control and let me close it just in case yours is missing to get it I'm going to go to window and go to events I'm sorry totally wrong thing window I want to go to effect controls and if I click on this video, it brings it up here. So I can do all of my positioning and changing and animation up here with this video. So I want this video to go across the screen, just in case like sometimes you have one video playing in the background and then like a mini version, like maybe B-roll flying across the screen. So I need to scale this down quite a bit, make this video smaller, and I'm actually going to, um, I want to drag it so it's on the other side of the screen. Well, let's just start it there halfway so you can kind of see it. I'm going to animate it so it's the position that I want it to change. I want to animate it from this side of the screen to the other side of the screen. And so I have the video playing. You can kind of see that I didn't add any, any, any animation so it's not moving so far. So now I want it to tell it to try to move and I want it to move right at the beginning. So I'm gonna click on this little icon that looks like a ring and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so I can see these details. And when I click on that, adds a little keyframe. It's really hard to see, but there's a diamond right there where my mouse is because I want it to start here. And at by the time it's at the end of this movie, I'm gonna hit a keyframe I want the position of it to be on the other side. So it's just kind of flying by. And I'm done with my animation, so I'm gonna turn this off. Oop, no, I don't want to I don't want to click on that at all. Change my mind. But now if I play my movie, I have some animation. It moves from one side of the screen to the other. So I have to set some creep where do where's my starting position? Where's my ending position? Same thing with if I click back on this keyframe. Um, and move my playheads to that keyframe. Maybe I want it to be up at the top of the screen and maybe by the end of this. So now let me move my playhead to this keyframe. So I'm on this keyframe and maybe I want it to move to the bottom of the screen. So it's crisscrossing the screen diagonally as well. So you can change the vertical position position of the movie as well. So it's a little bit of a review with the animation, but you can do that with any one of these objects. Um, so we just, we used scale in the last tutor tutorial. So we made it from one size to another, we zoomed in, um, but now sometimes you wanna fly uh, a video by and that's how you would use it with the position.